Almost there. Oh my god. I can't even explain it. This is unlike anything I've ever seen before. My face is starting to go numb. Today's the day. Not actually though, because it's actually the Saturday before the solar eclipse, and it is currently 6.08 in the morning. So right now I am home in Florida, but I gotta make it all the way to Kentucky. So yeah, I knew this was gonna be a pretty, pretty short intro. I guess if there isn't much else to say, then uh, let me just, um... And now I'm in the Great Smoky Mountains. Yeah, let's get you out of here. Now, you're probably asking yourself right now, Matt, how did you get to the Great Smoky Mountains? Well, to answer your question, I drove. And I drove a lot. My dad and I drove over 500 miles, over 10 hours to the Great Smoky Mountains. Now, aside from going to Georgia Peach World, we didn't really do much. But sure enough, the road eventually came to an end, as all good ones do, as we found ourselves here in Cherokee, North Carolina. So yeah, I'm now in Cherokee, North Carolina. Uh, it's the eastern band of Cherokee Native Americans, Cherokee Indians, whatever you want to say. We're gonna be staying the night here, and in the morning, we're gonna to head to Kentucky to actually go see the eclipse. So we got a couple problems uh, with our trip, and one of them is that WrestleMania is tonight. I'm a huge wrestling fan, so of course I'm gonna watch WWE WrestleMania 40, and that is tonight, which means that in order to watch it, I gotta, I gotta bring my Apple TV and plug it into the TV in the room, which is what we're doing. Problem number two is the traffic that we're going to experience. Because this is the last uh, solar eclipse in the United States for like 20 something years. We're gonna have millions, and I mean millions of people flocking to the path of totality to see the eclipse. And that includes us. So that means a lot of traffic. So that's problem number two, and I don't think there are any more problems that I know of, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, well, here we are in our hotel room. What do you have to say, Dad? Hello, <laughs> those in TV land. Yeah, those, those in TV land. So the time is about 5.30, right? 5.40 actually, that is the time on the clock right next to me. WrestleMania starts in an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, it's also time to set up the Apple TV, because that's something I want to do beforehand. Yeah, I'll, it's alright, I'll, I'll do that right now, I'll do that right now. There we go, and then to HDMI 1. And there we go, there's the Apple TV. We are good. Here we go! Collins, Collins! Get up, Rams! Tony, the Rams! No! 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 Sunday. So today we're probably going to go to church, get some breakfast, 
go to Walmart, <laughs> uh, then hit the road. And get on the road we did. After we did all of our business, we packed the car, got our stuff together, and we started driving. So we went through Great Smoky Mountain National Park, we saw the elk, we saw some awesome river, and we even stopped along the way to see the sights. See, what I don't get is people who look at that right over there uh -huh. and don't think to themselves, I want to climb that. I want to go up there. I think the room is pretty nice. I mean, overall, I like it. It's got a bigger TV than the last place. But that's why he's gonna be champion. That's right, that's what the f I thought. Yeah, that's right. Today's the day. And actually this time, today is Monday, April 8th. It is 5.46 in the morning, and the eclipse happens in several hours. <laughs> so yeah, we got a big day ahead of us. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm actually here, and I'm gonna see the eclipse today. My first ever solar eclipse, and my last one for 20 years. So I'll be honest, I am not feeling very confident about uh, seeing the eclipse today uh, because as you can see, it is very foggy and very overcast. If I want to see the eclipse, it's got to, it's got to clear up a lot. We better hope and pray. <laughs> hope and pray and pray some more because it's not looking good so far. But we have, we have about uh, seven hours, so we'll... We'll see what happens in about seven hours. Garden of the Gods. Look at that, this place is totally closed off. Totally closed.
also, I am finally here in Shawnee National Forest in, uh, in Illinois at the uh, Garden of the Gods Recreation Area. The time is 11.50, so the eclipse is in about two hours. So I have three, three ways that I want to test uh, to see the eclipse. The first of which are my $20 eclipse glasses, whatever you want to call them. I got them off of Amazon. 20 bucks, so they better be worth it. The other thing that I want to test are these disposable glasses that I got also off of Amazon for about $15 for like 10 of them. So a lot less for a lot more glasses. So we're going to test the quality of those. And finally, we're going to see if the ISO 12343 or whatever, uh, whatever standard it is, if that really is better than welding glass. Y'all know I'm a welder. So naturally, of course, I just have welding glass, which filters out light. So what you should be able to do is just look straight at the sun with the welding glasses and see the eclipse. So we're going to test out all three during the partial phase and see how each of them compares. We're sitting down right now. The eclipse is in two hours, so we got time. I'm just going to go walk around for a little bit more. So we're about halfway there now. This is the view with the welding glass. So that's what you're seeing now. You're seeing the the, uh, the, the partial eclipse or partial phase of the eclipse uh, with the welding glass. That is the eclipse uh, with the cheap, you know, two dollar glasses that I got off of Amazon. And finally, that. That is the view of the eclipse with the expensive $20 glasses that I got on Amazon. It's a lot clearer, it's a lot better. Yeah, so this is, this is what it looks like. So the shadow of the, um, of the eclipse should be coming from over that way. And that's when we'll know that it's about to happen. And it's gonna slowly creep over this way and then it's gonna cover us. And the sun will be completely covered and that's totality. We're about five minutes away from totality now. And I'm getting I'm getting freaked out by how the how dim it is here now. Because it feels like it doesn't feel right. It feels like it's like it's a simulation. You know it feels like uh feels like the matrix. So I don't know maybe maybe this is all just a simulation. I don't know. That's that's what I'm feeling right now. So for the last time before the full eclipse, I'm gonna show y'all what uh, what each one looks like. That is the welding glass, still pretty bright. That's the cheap glasses that I got from Amazon. That is the expensive glasses. Oh my God, this is really happening. Oh, this is insane. All right, so this is it. This is this is really happening. We are only a few minutes away in full totality. It is so dim out here, but the sun is still up there, which is freaking me out. <laughs> it also feels quieter. Like all I can hear are the uh, the sounds of the people. We have a very 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 thin small short sliver of sun left from the moon it looks like sun uh, sunset but it's not there's still a tiny tiny sliver we're seconds away we're almost there I drove so long. Oh my God, that's so 
in my Ford Fusion just to come here, spend hundreds of dollars for this exact moment. This is unlike anything I've ever seen before or might ever see again. This is one of the scariest but amazing things I've ever seen before. I'm both amazed and terrified. My face is starting to go numb from the hyper, from just hyperventilating. My heart will not stop pounding. It's cold, it's dark, and the sun is completely blocked by the moon. It's coming out of it now. <laughs> oh Lord. Do you see these two right here? That's Paulo and Martina. And let's just say there was a little bit more to celebrate than just the eclipse. You see the rain. <laughs> well, to everyone who came with me on this journey, I want to thank you again for watching. If you haven't seen one, or if you missed this one, then I beg you, urge you, go to the next one. Go to the next one. This was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Very, I'll take this opportunity to say that the God who created the moon and the sun up there, who created that eclipse and made it happen, loves you very much. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.